After fighting a whole bunch of Moogle pirates, now I can lay claims on their pirate ship. Cause that's the rules of the game, right? That's what's to be expected. I whoop ass and then I take the prize. At least that's what I was told, man. This is one of those JRPGs. You got us, Koopo! Scurvy swapped for shame! <laughs> of you gents to whip my crew into shape oh you're welcome but i thought we just beat them up that's what she's saying you do oh, this uh. <laughs> what are you comedians too bad if you've the brass to steal from pirates then you know what comes next so long you clowns clowns where clowns why is it clowns It's time! Make yourself big! Huh? Yes, yes, sir! You can do that? <laughs> Guess the not. Ugh, uh, I should have known better than to even ask. Well, that's fine, because, you know, this is just like Captain Ferris, okay. you know. She, she was a character in Final Fantasy V. Uh, she's also got her giant monster thing here, Seldra. Uh, you know what? I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Sure, everything looks intimidating and everything looks imposing, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna summon my main man Sephiroth with his supernova of imminent doom, because, as we all know, there's no kill like overkill, and Sephiroth lays the smack down. He's who I go to whenever I need shit done, when I just need a nice, fanciful kill, if you will. And he, he's gonna make it happen. And, you know, I got a good feeling about this. This has gotta be success right here. And it just looks epic, let's be honest. I need a little bit of flair. Sephiroth got it. I mean, he just walks away like he just doesn't even care. And he did a thing for me. Oh. Resistant. And Thunderstorm? What was what this? What is this? A little lightning tech? What do you got? Oh. Oh no. I might have not prepared enough for this. Here, I was thinking I was overpowered, but... You, you know what? I'm sure it's alright. I mean, what's the worst that happens? You, you go and you attack Rain or something? <laughs> oh no, Rain's down. Um... Look, look, it's alright. I can, I can work my way out of this. I've been in worse situations. This isn't the worst that it's ever been, okay? Um, I just need to stack. I just need to pray a little bit, you know? I just need to have a little bit of faith. And I'm sure it'll all work out. It'll all be hunky dory. It'll be great. I'll live, I'll live the American dream. Of getting a game over and failing at life. What have I done? Don't we give up! If we kick the bucket inside the threshold, we're all but the done for! But they're... they're too strong. Uh, I have you now. <laughs> hide Refia all you want, but you can't play hide and seek with destiny. Fate has chosen us. The Thane of Seronia? Why is he here? Uh. He followed us here? What? What the? Out of the Hydra and into the Craftopod! What are we gonna have to do? Doesn't this make you just want to kiss his mate? These divine designs. Isn't fate great? Now that it's brought us together, anything could happen. Just imagine. Are we destined for something bigger? Or could it be... Our cookies are merely meant to crumble. Now! Giants from...
from the hills. These questions are all yours and mine to answer! Cookies need love like everything else does, but I digress. Cause, you see, we have to fight Thanos Aronia, and unlike the last battle with Captain Barris, this one is completely winnable, and I know I apologize for bullshitting everyone involved, because, you know, it's, it's unwinnable, and uh, it, was just, it was just a reference to Final Fantasy V when you fight Captain Barris in that game, cause it happens. But in this game, well, I mean, we're fighting the Thanos and he's looking pretty pathetic, if you ask me. Also, I think we should finish him off with one of our champions. Uh, let's go with Sora. I mean, I could go with Sephiroth, but, you know, I think it's time to do a little bit of protagonist action. You know what I'm saying? Who better than Sora? Something to note, though, that I found out, because I was trying to look up some information. Apparently, while he's mute in the English version that I'm summoning him in, in the Japanese version, he has a line of dialogue, to which I guess Haley Joe Osment couldn't come in one day or something to record. But, uh, I, going back to his theme, which I cannot lay a finger on, um, I tried looking it up, and I still couldn't really find anything. I think I saw someone say that it might be a remix of something from Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, but uh, it, it, it just sounds a little off, if you ask me. You scoundrel! Find another ship to spew your bilge on! Clowns. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Perhaps you'd care to explain. So, the Federation replaced Thane Tucka with one of their soldiers. Actually, we're not too sure about that ourselves. But everything we've told you is true. Honest to the goodness. Well, believe me, I'd not put anything past those Federation dogs. But if they have monsters like that in power... Hey, um... Hmm? Captain Ferris? You wouldn't happen to know where they're headquartered. The Federation, I mean. Bahamut Citadel? No one knows a lick about that, lass. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Why? Was that your reason for trying to steal my ship? To go off on some wild goose chase? Uh, uh the whole idea was Lon's! You don't say. What? Me? Oh, I would never, ever, I mean, I don't even like ships. Not that there's anything wrong with your... Oh, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Belay there, lad. Okay. You see, I might be able to help you gents on your way after all. If you are the giants from the hills, the ones the prophecy mentions, then I recall the same prophecy mentioning where you're supposed to go. Huh? You mean there's more to it? Ahoy, Mog! You've read the prophecy, haven't you? Aye! I have, Kupo! The prophecy says quite clearly that the giants from the hills would collect four keys, open up a pathway to the Crystal Tower, brave its dangers, and mount the very heavens, Kupo! Four keys, huh? Wait, the Crystal... Tower? Hmm. Huh. So, Mog, I don't suppose you know where the four keys might be? I'm afraid I know of only the first one, Kupo. It's one more than I do. Kupo! The first key is said to lie in a... Oh, t'was a valley of fire, Kupo! Where's that? I can think of one place. The fire valleys in Babel. Down to the south of the low seas. <sighs> There's those low seas again. What labor? All these twists and little turns. But fate must be allowed to run its course. <laughs> I hate new items are available at the mart. 
And, uh, of course, I can go save, but I, I guess that's really minor in comparison. Oh man, there's a lot of questions I got going on, like, uh, prophecy, low seas, still this night in the gold mask, I mean, we have no idea who that guy is. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, as long as Captain Ferris isn't willing to hold a grudge, I mean, that that's good, that's good. Uh, it seems like she's being, tr she's trying to be cooperative, and that's great. Chapter 9 the low seas. Okay, so like, all we gotta do is cross the low seas and find that valley of fire. Well, I don't know. Are we really just gonna follow some random prophecy word for word? But what other leads do we have? <sighs> Fine, I guess we'll run with it. Huh? What? Captain Ferris, can you tell us how to get to the low seas? Hmm, perhaps, but I'll not be lending you this ship. For one, she can't venture down sea, even if I were feeling generous. Ah, oh, wait. Ahoy, Mog! Is our guest still aboard? Guest, Koopa? You know who? Oi, the lass in glasses. Oh, from the league, Koopa. She might be Koopa. I'll go look, Koopa. You need something? Sorry to detain you. I thought we were done with our transaction. Did you find some sort of problem with the cargo? No. The goods were sound. I have another quandary. If you'll hear me out. What's that? These gents here have business in the low seas. Who are they? The giants from the hills. In the flesh. What? Ta-da! Cut that out! Oh. Sorry about Lon. I guess we might be the giants from the prophecy, but honestly, we don't know. Very intriguing. So, they need a boat. And as I recall, you've got one. Well, if it's true about the Thane, that he's some kind of monstrous Bahamutian doppelganger... Then we don't owe him anything. Which means that the boat is up for grabs. Aye. Wait, up for grabs? What do you mean? Oh, uh, my group had some business to attend to in Seronia, so we presented the Thane with a boat. Some might call it a... a bribe. You don't need to wheel in the deal with a bunch of no-good monsters like that? Yeah. You're not even listening. Yeah. So you're so absolutely certain? You saw the Thane undergo a transformation? Aye, and yeah. then Sildra let him have it. Okay, well don't get me wrong, I can see that they're giants, but I can also see they've got some growing up to do. Do you think they'll survive the trip? Huh, one splash in the low seas can't stop a prophecy. Well, I guess you win. You can take the fast craft down to the low seas. Oh, sweet! Thank you so much! Although... That whispering wasn't very encouraging. Okay, come see me when you're ready. I'll take you to the boat. All right, seems like Quist is from Final Fantasy VIII World's gonna help us out. Or at the very least, I mean, that's who Quist is. That's what she's from, you know, from Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I digress. I'm going to quickly go check Ninewood Hills out. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to end the part here. Next time, we're going to go venture down into the low seas.